Hi, welcome to freeze-driedbusiness.com. I'm David. Today we're going to talk about high chew candies. This is a chewy, fruity candy that you can purchase at various different stores. I'm going to show you today how to prep it on the tray, as well as ways to arrange it so that you can fit the maximum amount of product on the trays, and also so that it's spread out evenly so that you don't have any candies touching after they come out of the freeze dryer so it has a very clean look. Some candies like this is a little bit more tedious because they all come individually wrapped. That's the case with Starburst, with Charleston Chews, with Char uh, Jolly Ranchers. It does take a little bit more time. So I think when you're freeze drying and you're freeze drying candy, a lot of the perception that comes in is it's very easy to prep and there's not a whole lot of time. But when you're trying to make the most product, you really need to know how to be efficient with prepping the candy and getting the most amount of product into the freeze dryer as quickly as possible so that you can keep running the freeze dryer. I'm gonna show you how to do one tray and take a little bit more time to show you how to prep and then I'll put it on a time lapse and we'll do the rest of the trays together and then we'll do a video to just show how they come out and then we'll do the bagging as well. So hope you enjoy. All right, so keeping it very simple, we've got the high chew candies that are individually wrapped. What I like to do is take scissors. I like cutting off the ends. And you're just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna just do a couple so that you see how I do it. And really what it happens is you can grab both fingers and the chewy candies literally come right out of the wrapper. You can toss the wrappers aside. What I like to do is I like to get enough on the tray for just a general idea of how many you might get on here. It's better to do more than less, that way you just are efficient with how many you're cutting. So I'm gonna keep cutting. I choose in the freeze dryer to become crunchy. Um, as you'll probably see in your business, different people like different candies. Also, some people are more familiar with candies than others. Um, what I have found is that people who like freeze-dried candies generally like to taste all of them, and they will have their favorites, so you will have repeat customers. And really, this is a really fast way after trial and error that I found of getting through and cutting these open rather than individually unwrapping them. Again, you're just pulling off the ends so that they slip right out of the holes that you just cut. In freeze-dried business, especially if you're a home business, cottage food business, you can run it out of your garage just like I am. That's totally legal. You just need to check with your own state and district to make sure you're doing it the way they want and the, uh, all the things that you're prepping are, are legal to sell to people. And we just clear all the wrappers away. So we've got a good amount here. Now, sometimes I like to cut them in half. The reason I like to cut some of them in half, not all, is because it's all about perception of the bag that you're gonna put these in. You know, man, imagine 10 high chews you fit in a little small bag. Imagine if you saw 20 as a customer. You'd probably be more likely to feel like you're getting your money's worth. So I like to kind of have an arrangement of big ones and small ones so that customers feel like they're getting their money's worth. Not all customers are gonna be like that, but see how I'm lining all these up? You're gonna kind of figure this out eventually as to the spacing, but these don't puff up as much as Jolly Ranchers, and you wanna get them nice and snug. The reason I like lining these up uniformly is 
it just allows me to know that they're not going to touch because when they do expand, they will touch if you, they're too close. And they'll just kind of have like a rougher, you can tell that they were like kind of pulled apart. And for me, in my business, I just, I like quality over quantity. There's so many people doing the freeze dry business these days that you do have to set yourself apart in the business. Again, I'm just cutting the ends away, kind of find where the air is. If you're watching this, I'd love for you to comment on this video. Just let me know where you're located. I'd love to find out you know, where people are watching, what type of business you have. Have you done these? Have you done high chews? What's been your way to prep high chews? What have you seen the fastest? And of course, subscribe. It helps my videos when someone's searching for how to do high chews um, in a freeze dryer or someone's looking to do candy, how to start a, a freeze dry business. All those searches, it helps my videos get to the top. Again, as you can see, I mean, some of these candies stick. It takes a little bit longer. It's a tedious process. It's not, not every candy is just a Throw on the throw on the tray and see what happens. If you're running a business, you do care about what people think of your product, even though everyone can do it. That's what sets people apart. So again, I'm just I'm not cutting all of them. I'm just using the scissors to cut them in half. Those will create little small ones. intermixed and when I bag these I don't try to find you know the big ones and the small ones I just I just have them intermixed so that it's a good mix so here's the finishing tray of high chews chewable candies